watch a lot of old school guys. I watch Hakeem a lot. I watch Shaquille O'Neal a lot. I mean, I just, when I don't have anything to do, I just take my tablet and just study those guys. I grew up in Dakar. It's not like a village, it's a big city. It's like Orlando, but it's different from Orlando because Orlando is more developed, of course, but it's a city. Everyday life is different. People are more, like neighbors are more clo like closer than they are here. Here, I, I don't even know my neighbors, but in my country, I know all of them. I mean, it's a lot different. For someone my size, too, it's really hard to find clothes, shoes, but here, everything is easier. The lifestyle here is really better. Like Tonyo, I don't have KDs, I don't have LeBrons. I just have the same pair of Nikes. I mean, they're all the same, just different colors. The Air Tacos, right? The Air Tacos. I have these. I have these. Wear a size 22. I used to not have even two pairs of shoes. Now I got like 20 something just from the summer. So I went to the NBA camp. I got selected in the All Star team. I mean, that was like the biggest accomplishment in all summer. That, that NBA game really did a lot for me, I mean, a lot. And then the first tournament I played with each one, each one guys, they gave me the trophy. The teammates too, I had Tone, um, Alex, pretty funny guy, get along pretty well with them, Daniel, Ben. I knew Tonyo a little bit, but when we went to the NBA camp, that's where we really got a better relation because all of the stuff that I learned about him and all the stuff he learned about me. He brought something to the team that nobody had. You know, he did a lot of good stuff on the court. He also brought a lot of attention. Every time I walked in the gym, a whole bunch of people want to come around and take pictures with him. You know, help take pictures with us. So he brought a lot of attention. Tonyo, he, he goes after, I mean, he goes after his opening. He's confident and he just go there and do what he has to do. The only thing that goes through my mind is that I can lose because it's going to be on me all year that he beat me. I can't let that happen. What's up? Yeah, I'm good. Go where? Go where? We got... No, you ain't finished dunk on all. <laughs> what you going to do? I'm about to dunk on you. No, you ain't going to dunk on you. What you going to do? Dunk on you? No. Yeah. You going to file out? No! All right, you see. All right. I got you. I got you. I got you, Tony. I played with Taco all summer. Funny kid, great kid, and he's really good. So it's gonna be fun to compete versus him. Throughout the game, I'm gonna try to guard him just to show him, you know what I'm saying, that he big, but he really little. So we gonna see, and I'm gonna try to dunk on him. Finna get buckets. Taco had to run full court, like, so as long as you running, he gotta run. That's gonna get him tired. You're looking good out there, baby. First time I played basketball, I I won't say I was 
Turbo, it's just like somebody new in the game. You don't know what you're doing. I got, I mean, I cried because obviously I was the biggest guy on the floor even though I was 16. Um, I mean, I got yelled at by um, the fans and everything. It was really tough, but then, I mean, I just worked, prayed. That's all I did. And in a year, a lot of things happened. The summer in particular, I mean, did a lot of things during the summer. The video, I called it, had like four million views in two weeks. That's when things really started getting busy for me. I was sleeping and then I wake up, I see like hundreds of notifications on my Twitter. And I'm like, what's going on? And then I just tap on it, I see you posted a video and just stuff start going crazy. I start getting phone calls, Mandy start getting phone calls, the school start getting phone calls start doing a bunch of interviews. I mean, really, that's gave a boost to my career. I don't know, I didn't feel excited, I didn't feel any emotion. I don't know if that was normal or not. It just felt natural, but also I felt like I was really blessed for not playing basketball that long and being on ESPN, Sports Center, Sport Nation, all those. I mean, that was, that was, um, that was awesome. At that time, I didn't know exactly what TMZ was until after they explained what TMZ was. And I was like, I'm not even a superstar yet. And I got stopped by paparazzi. I'm like, really? I mean, I was just, I, I, I went out. I went out the door. I'm walking on the street. And then I, somebody yells in my name. I turn around, and somebody with the camera just following me, asking me questions. I didn't know who they were. You get used to it. I don't mind at all. People think I do, but I don't. I take pictures all day. You got to be nice to people. Arj Baji, we came here together two years ago, and since then we've been together. So he's like, we, we, we're really close friends, really, really close. He's like part of my family. I think I'm the first basketball player in my whole family. Uh, my uncle is actually a um, sport fan. He likes to lift and everything, but I'm really the first like basketball player. Counting my mom, it's, it's like my mom, my brother. Um, I have a half-sister and my dad. I talk to them every day. My dad lives in Cincinnati, so I can call him every day. My mom, I have an application that allows me to call her. Anthony Davis is doing great. He might be the MVP this year. I called it first. Daily life of Taco is just practice, school, home. That's all I do. I don't, I don't hang out a lot. I don't go to... I, don't do, I really don't do much. Play video games, maybe. That's about it. And when I watch um, the NBA guys, I make sure I watch the big men, how they play, how they move. Just trying to learn. Learning every day. People might ask why I do the same thing. I don't need to do something else. If, when I need to, I will. But right now, if I can just posture up and turn around and dunk, why would I do something else more complicated? I have some other stuff up my sleeve. I just don't have the occasion to use it yet. Because you really don't play any big guys except during the summer. During high school, you see a lot of two, three, too. You see a lot of doubles all the time, so I can put the ball on the floor most of the time. I just turn around and dunk. Now I do. Now it's, it's like just natural to me. The NBA Top 100 jersey. Best experience so far. And I would go back there every year, even though it's a long week. But you get to do a lot of things. You see what I got with me today? We play Big Taco today. I told him I'm going to try to dunk on him. Someone said he tried to dunk on him and he blocked it. I'm going to try to dunk on him though. I'm here at Sports Center in the morning. I didn't know Corey really until I stayed with him for like a week. When we went to the NBA camp, I, I, I was like, man, Corey, I, I just wanted to know why he played like that. He, he, he told me he just, he's just having fun. I, mean, I want him. I want you. He warned me? I want you. He warned me. I got something no, for him. I got something for him. He, he's trying to keep the fun in the game. It's true that the game is serious, but when you take out the fun, it's not really a game anymore. People, don't, people that don't know Corey will say whatever they want of him, but when you get to know him, you get to understand why he act like that. That is my two matches. The first half, the second half. That's what you do when you're 7'6". Can't sleep for one match, it says. 
I say I'm driving like a boss. I'm the best driver in the house. I might take Ryan on the towel and show him my driving skills. I live with Jerry. Jerry is a great guy. He does a lot for us. Really nice guy. Mandy, great person. She's hot sometimes, but I mean, she do, she do everything for us. Before basketball, I will, all I was doing was play soccer, go to school most of the time. So I have really good grades. And school is harder f in our countries. So when I came over here, it was pretty easy. Now I'm a better basketball player, but I can still, I still have some skills. When I first played basketball, I used to think too much. But then I understood that it had to be natural. Like, it just had to be natural. You just have to go and play natural. So once I understood that, it started getting easier. Last year, I was uh, on the floor watching the Magic game. So we were standing. The chair was right on the floor. So Blake turned around and look at me. So I look at him and he turned around, talked to DeAndre like, I guess he said, look at, this, look at this guy. And DeAndre turned around too. So they started laughing. I was like, oh, Lord, are they looking at me? Felt really special when you get recognized by NBA guys. I like Italian food a lot. Pasta, pizza, all that. I can eat a whole pizza. I don't have specific time, I just eat. You gotta eat when you're seven, six. You gotta eat, you gotta take care of the body. How tall are you? Do you play basketball all the time? I see those questions all the time. Can I have a picture? All the time, that's every time. That's the most I heard. Sometimes they ask me how tall you were when you were in the sixth grade, which I don't even remember. Uh, how, long, how tall is gonna be your girlfriend? I don't even have one yet. And they're asking me how tall is, is she gonna be? That's really the funny questions I get. I remember when I was like five years old, six years old, my mom had a store and behind that there was a, a military camp when they have all those kids and they had bas basketball courts. I used to hang out with those kids a lot. So I kind of, I knew what basketball was, but I really didn't start playing until two years ago. A few months before I come over here, like two months. And then even when I came here, I couldn't really dunk. Sometimes I would miss, sometimes I would make it. I mean, it was kind of surprising for some of my height. I worked hard with Akeem Olajuwon. Those were the best days in my life. I mean, meeting a Hall of Famer. He took me to the same place he took LeBron James and Kobe Bryant and all of them to train with them. And I, I went there. He showed me some post moves, how to work on the post, going up strong and all that. That was a special day. The, oh yeah, he did. I tried it once. At that time, I couldn't do it, but now I'm working on it. Just to keep working, he says it takes longer for big men to develop than it takes to others, so I gotta be patient. And he gave me a couple of advice, what to work on. And he, I mean, he, he's a wise man. The UCF jersey, when I went to camp. What made me choose UCF? I like what he's building. I felt like I was one of the missing pieces that he could put together to bring the program up. Good location, warm weather, I don't like the cold. My motivations are really my family back in Africa. My mom, my brother, my dad actually lives in Cincinnati, but I mean, he's a really hard worker. And I feel like basketball is a ticket for me to take care of him. And now I'm pretty confident that I can make it. Just gotta keep working and I'll do it one day.